Hey guys, it's Rain. So I have a bit of a lengthy one for you today. So I'm going to be showing you two ways of doing this, like the square shape. The first one is the easiest one. So if you have like this set of like square cutters, but I'm going to be using the uh, smallest square and these are its measurements. Now, if you don't have a set like that, you can make a template out of like cardboard. Just, you know, with those measurements, I'm going to be making a square or two. I made them first, I made them a bit bigger, like this, uh, like the measurements of this but then I realized that they were too big for um, what I wanted to go for for my earrings and so I made them smaller pretty much I made them the same size of my cutter so now that we have a template I'm going to be working with a uh, porcelain clay I love using this kind of clay that hardens with air for earrings because it's like super easy to work with and you get a lot more product than with polymer clay but if you prefer to work with polymer clay you get pretty much the same results and so I'm just going to be uh, rolling this clay and on my roller if you see those two green rings or teal rings on each side those are there just so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my clay and I have the way for this one so rolling them and then placing my cardboard templates on top of that and then here is where i want you to be really careful but i'm going to be taking you know cutters they have like blades and so i'm just going to be taking one of those blades grabbing the blade from like the part that is not sharp you know what i mean that part and be really careful again if you're scared of like uh sharp objects or just you're underage or whatever just ask somebody to help you but i need just the blade without the cutter because i want to cut them like this and i don't want to dry them because my clay is really soft and if I cut it dragging it I'm going to be losing the shape a bit if that makes sense then before my clay dries and gets stuck in the template I'm going to be peeling it off then I'm going to be arranging like the final shape like the edges all the sides I just because this was cut it and the uh, edges might be sharp and so that's how I did it doing the square shape myself now if you have a set roll your clay and just cut it this way it's going to be easier and faster obviously but this is just in case you don't have a set I'm going to be making three pairs of earrings so I'm going to be needing 12 squares and so for my first and second set I'm going to let them all fully dry and once they're all dry I'm going to be gluing some ear posts at the back of them using my super glue I do have the review for the super glue if you want to check it out and then I'm going to be painting them with this gold I custom made this gold I do have the uh, DIY showing you how if you like this gold and to let it dry I'm going to be using some pliers and just using a block of foam so these are the first pair of earrings. They are pretty much for like every day, like simple, easy to wear, but I think they look really cute. And actually this is what started this whole thing. I wanted to make just the earrings, but other ideas came to mind when I was making them. And so for the second idea, I'm gonna be needing two squares. The first one is gonna be like a straight square. And the other one, I'm gonna be gluing it underneath with a bit of like a diagonal uh, angle, just because I wanted it to be like sort of like a diamond shape. Then I'm gonna be using this ear wires. I got a bunch of them like a long time ago. I don't remember where. They're a bit too yellowish for my taste as far as shades of gold goes but sometimes they work like for instance in this case turning the loop so it's front facing gluing that at the back of the earrings then i'm going to be taking a bit of clay just a little bit you don't need too much at all removing in this case the rings of my roller just because i want it to be as flat as possible then i'm going to be cutting this add it to the back of my earring just to secure my ear wire in there and I'm gonna let them dry, painting them gold again, using the same acrylic paint. And this is what this ones look like. I think they look really cute as well. They are a bit more statement than the previous ones, but I think they are not like so in your face statement. And so they are so much fun to wear. They are really dynamic because they move a lot when you're uh, when you're talking or just moving your head. Yeah, I really like them. Hopefully though, they don't look like ties, more like diamonds. That's what I was kind of going for. And then for the third pair and the final one, I'm gonna let most of my six squares and dry but for two of them before they dry i'm going to be making two like gaps in there so if you're working with polymer clay do this before you bake it but for this kind of clay that dries with air you just need to do this it's fully dry and how do you know it's not fully dry yet it's because the edges are kind of like sheer ish but the middle part is still pretty white so the middle part is still fresh inside the outside is getting harder so you need that so that when you cut it like i'm doing right now you don't lose the shape making a mark in the middle on each side this is going to be looking like an edge and this is because we need those like gaps to place the other square on the top and the bottom and so when i do that i'm going to be gluing them one suggestion that i have for you is when you glue them be really subtle and just add the glue like inside those gaps because if you go overboard like i did and you add 
the glue all over the place i'm going to show you in a minute you're going to be able to see the glue dried after you paint it but yeah i'm going to be then gluing a jump ring gluing half of it only just because i just want to be able to, to see half of it when i wear them i'm going to be doing the same thing adding a bit more clay at the back so it secures my jump ring for this pair i chose antique gold jump rings and ear wires painting this with the same gold i used this is how i'm painting this one because it has a lot of like shapes all over the place painting each shape at a time I'm not trying to cover the whole thing at once then i'm going to be using this ear wires so i'm just going to be opening the tiny tiny loop that the ear wire has placing my earrings and then just closing them but yeah this is what this one's look like these are my favorite out of all of them i think it's because i feel like i'm wearing like tiny buildings fun to wear definitely more stable than the other ones but i don't think it's like a super crazy statement you know what i mean but in a way i feel like they're like a minimalist statement i think they are so much fun but yeah guys these are the three ideas that i want to share with you hopefully you like them or any of them i had so much fun making them so if you like them don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out other earrings that i have and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye